Welcome to uh, Organizational Behavior Management 280 online offered by Harper College. My name is Dr. Jordan Machaki. Well, we made it through week one. I'll talk a little bit about week one at the end. Let's talk about this week. This week we're going to be covering three chapters. Uh, the first chapter is going to be on uh, uh, Global Manager or expatriates, you'll see people who live uh, overseas and what the, uh, or overseas from a company. And what you're going to be looking at is the culture, the general culture, and uh, uh, ethnocentrism is that all cultures think that theirs is the best. That's something to look at. The U.S. is a little bit more uh, guilty of those than anything else. Uh, look at Hall States. He basically is an IBM, looked at different cultures in different uh, uh, countries uh, for IBM. I think it was like uh, uh, 116,000 uh, IBM employees in 53 countries. And he came over a pretty good idea of uh, what it's like for one culture to go into immerse in another culture on how that individual has to learn. Uh, you don't learn a culture within over one year of uh, an assignment. They found usually three or four years. And if you look at a lot of uh, uh, countries when they send people over to a culture, you understand they're going to adapt some of that cultural and thoroughly understand the culture. Okay, so you can look at a uh, closer look at cultures, look at the high text culture, low text culture, see where the U.S. falls in. Uh, let's see, uh, overseas assignments and project load. So basically that's chapter three ties in real nicely. Now the next chapter we're going to be talking about, which is also you're looking at culture, a different ethnicity that uh, managers have to look at. We're going to be looking at diversity. When you look at diversity, it ties in nicely with culture, but you're also going to look at diversity within a company. You have managers uh, that have a different uh, background. They may come from the engineering side. They may come from the finance side. They may be accountant. They may come from customer service. They may come from the work. They may come from the union side. All of these are still a diversified type of individual. You have marketing people. You have, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, journalists. You have... Uh, uh, regular uh, managers, uh, you know, so, uh, so you have to look at the diversity. If I look at diversity, when a co from a company perspective, knowing that you have different diversified uh, uh, people within a company, how do I socialize them or bring them into the company so they basically have a, a, common, a, a common theme, that we work together, not against each other. So it tells you how we bring people into the environment. You look at different attributes that companies have. You look at uh, different tendencies, uh, self-serving bias that all individuals have and departments have, and different cultures have, and now you have to bring them all in uh, underneath one. You look at different personalities. How personalities shape. Remember, a culture has its own personality, and it is basically shaped by the individuals that work within that company. So a multiple of personalities that are very dominant will shape the personality of a of a company culture that you have to understand. Look at different demographic uh, trends. As we operate in a different country, as demographic trends change, our culture, our management, or the company has to kind of adjust to that demographic trend so we understand how to serve better this customer and basically how we understand the new type of uh, uh, employees that are coming in. Right now we have the Generation Y. A different way of employees, a younger generation that have a different mindset than the baby boomers or the other, uh, other generations that the millennials that other generations have. Shoot, that's a tongue twister. Wait until you have to say that. Okay, so barriers to managing diversity. Now I'm looking at I'm not looking at the affirmative action, I'm looking at diversity. Most companies by default, especially in the U.S., are very diversified. When you start going overseas, you may have more of a heterogeneous type of a, a, a population. But more and more, as the globe is becoming diversified, our companies have to look at the diversification. And we have to look how do we overcome. Look at diversification, looking at generalization of a certain culture. So generally, they have certain habits, certain attributes. Stereotyping a little different. If we start stereotyping people, that everybody is the same. If we look at Asian people and we say that all Asian people are mathematically inclined and are basically all very intelligent that would be a falsified because in general you do have a higher percentage of Asian people that fall into the math and engineering and that's because the culture encourages that and those who want to go into college and everything else have to uh, exhibit those uh, uh, attributes or even be considered to, to go into school. So you'll have that. But there's a million 
a billion plus Asians or Chinese or even Indian, all of them are not mathematically inclined. All of them are not your uh, uh, super students. All right. So, uh, but if you stereotype that, but it, uh, you will have the impression that every Asian falls into that category. If you generalize, you just say that the majority of population may fall into that category. Okay. So that takes care of uh, uh, chapter five diversity ties in nicely with our global. Now the last one is appreciation appreciating individual uh, differences. And when I look at individual differences, even though we are in the company as a whole working, what makes America an American business, our platform, our format is our individuality. We have individual, we have people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different uh, disciplines, uh, different age, and we all work together for the common good. I know there are a lot of countries, and I'll just use China, for example, that are trying to come up with this creativity within their culture. How do we develop this culture of creativity? How do we get our culture creative? We get it by default. We have people from every nation, every language, every religion, every generation, male, female, sexual orientation, you name it. We all work together. When you have such a mixture of people coming together for common good, you will see all these different uh, uh, ways of looking at it. You will come up with ideas you never came up with before. Okay, so that will fall in. Let's see what else. You look at self-esteem. And self-esteem, look at self-esteem. is everything about me, what I feel about myself, how good I am, okay? You have self-efficacy, basically my own ability that I could create a task. And that's important. Self-monitoring. Not only does a company have to self-monitor itself, and it usually gets that through a... Uh, 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 surveys it sends out outside, but also individuals within the company should monitor themselves. And HR and the organization as a whole monitors all its people. How do we have the right type of individual to maintain or change the corporate image that we want to go forward? Personality. Companies have its own personality, and the personality is developed, as I talked before, by individual personality. Locus of control. How much control do I have? Internal control. How much I can control my destiny. And external control. How much control does the company have? And those two should always work together to uh, uh, find that balance. Okay, emotional intelligence. You're going to be doing your uh, survey and emotional intelligence. Now, what's emotional intelligence? It takes all your social ability. How do I deal with people? How do I work with teams? How do I uh, deal with conflict? How do I communicate? How do I uh, uh, tell people uh, you know, my feelings? How do I look at the whole company? All that emotional intelligence, and there's, uh, you'll be doing a quick survey to see where you fall in emotional intelligence. And now you can have all the intelligence in the world. When I'm saying book smart, but if you can't work with people, because you don't know how to share those ideas, you don't know how to transfer the idea. Your e, uh, emotional intelligence is just as strong as your discipline. You need both of them. Okay, uh, collective dis uh, cognitive dissonance is how do I think? How do I look at the whole picture? How do I react to certain things? And the cognitive uh, abilities your intelligence, uh, word of uh, fluency, uh, written communication, uh, uh, math fluency, all of these are basically parts of the organization. Okay, so those are our three chapters. So you're going to read the three chapters. You're going to do the connect. I think there's a, let me see real quickly on the connect. What do I have for you this week? You have on the, on the connect, I'm going to make it to chapter four and five because those tie in together. It's still going to be worth 30 points. So you have the videos and a, and a couple of drag and drops. The quizzes are only going to be in chapter three and uh, uh, complete the uh, then quizzes in, uh, on chapter three only worth 20 points. So each question, 10 questions worth uh, two points each. You should do well, you have one form, an emotional intelligence form that's worth 15 points, and you will basically, again, remember, when you look at the forms, confusion about the forms, you have two forms. Let me first explain the forms. You have the emotional intelligence, you do the assessments, and you respond to my questions, and then you respond to other students, and then you have a second one on your research topic. In the research topic, when you look at the subject area, just like emotional intelligence, you tell them, here's where my ray, ray, uh, uh, ranking is on my uh, research topic. I am going to be talking about, remember, you could pick any topic out of the book, any subtopic, but I want to find time. I don't want to so general. I want it really down to changing something with an organizational policy, changing something with a department at a mid managerial uh, uh, level. So when you're looking at the research topic, anything else, it could be communication, it could be team building, it could be the topics we're talking about now, it could be uh, uh, expatriates, how do I uh, get our company ready for uh, uh, international management uh, and different assignments, should I bring more women in, is there a stigma or a stereotype about 
women expatriates, are they successful in overseas countries, let's say in Middle Eastern, are they accepted in a business uh, uh, setting, or do I, do, am I putting them for uh, uh, to fail? And that'd be a good topic. What's the generation Y? What's this new generation? How do I motivate this generation, this younger generation? All this information here when you're looking at it is very important, okay? So you have that, so that's the research topic, answer the questions, tell me who it is, and I have all the questions on there, and then we're done. Now they're formed. You're doing well. You're doing well on the Connect. Connect, you can do as many times as you want. You hit the Submit, and basically you get a score, and you take it over to you get the 15 or 20 points or 30 points until the due date. Those are easy points that I consider, and it's a way of repetition to learn the course material. Uh, let's see, the forums. I grade the forms within the week, so your first forum post will be basically responding to me. If you're the first one and there's no other students, I understand that, so you respond to me and that's worth 30% of your grade. So 15% uh, percent to maybe uh, 5 points or th about 5 points or 4 points of your grade will go towards responding to me. When you respond to 2 or more students in that time, you'll get to 7 points. And then on another day, you log in 3 different days within the week. I usually want your first post by Wednesday, and then your other post could be on a Thursday or Friday or a Saturday with your last post being a Saturday. Each time you log in, you should respond to two or three students. And it's not just, I'm not looking at quantity. I responded uh, 20 times. And I said, hey, good job. Nice things. How you doing, uh, Jack? How you doing, Jacqueline? I want a little statement, something out of the book to justify it that you agree with uh, the communication. Remember, the forms are to be a simulation of how you would improve your communication skills, sending emails, talking to your supervisor, talking on Skype, or, or sending memos or something back how do I get that network that communication that viral communication which a lot of business are doing so that's what the forums are it's a simulation so I want to hear your first name I want to say hey that's a pretty good idea but did you consider this yes I agree with this and I had the same concern try to start using some of the business terms and vocab out of your readings within your forum this gives you that professional business look remember this isn't a Twitter this isn't the Facebook this is an email forum at a college level writing so you know you don't have to I don't want you to see the right to be 20 pages in a forum usually one or two paragraphs one paragraph is more than sufficient when you write your paper that's when if it's more than one or two paragraphs within a forum you attach a memo or a document and say read this in your pleasure and otherwise you're doing well you're doing good at the connect remember make sure you do the connect you do the assignments do the assignments to the connect because this way when you do the grades it'll pair I will grade the, the connect looks at your highest score when it is due. Now, since the first week went by, the Connect and I have a due date. The next week, you have a uh, Connect due date. Usually by Sunday midnight, the Connect is done, and we start the next week. So you're doing well in your forms, and the forms, remember, I grade them within the week. So by the time you come to Saturday, if you do all your posts in one day, or in two days, or in a, just on all download on Saturday, there's a download. You'll never get full points. You'll get a D or C out of that. I don't care if you have a thousand posts. It's basically you're shooting to everyone else. There's no way you uh, uh, have a communication going back and forth. So anyway, you're doing well on the quizzes. You're doing everything else well. You're doing a form. You have your research topic. You start thinking about the research topic. And we'll talk a little bit about the research topic. Remember, you have to have three citations other than a book. It will be, uh, you know, uh, I think it's by words. I think it's like 3,000 words. And it's up to like uh, four to seven pay, uh, uh, seven to eight pages or plus. And you're doing well. So the first week went by well. Wow. It wasn't that bad. Look, you're getting used to this class. The forms are placed to lectures. You're learning. You're communicating with other people. You have the Connect, which is an integ uh, integrated software. And you see the videos. This is almost like being in a face-to-face -face class. If anything else, you'll learn more in this online class. And this online class will be a class similar to what you'll take at a four-year university or other schools. Remember, Harper College, uh, the business division, has one of the better online uh, classes because they're mostly instructors in the business division or will have been previous online students or I have been online instructors for a while. Sure, you're going to get one or two that's new, but overall, uh, uh, you'll enjoy this. So, again, this is Management uh, 280 in uh, Organizational Behavior offered by Harper College covering Chapter 3, uh, which is Global, Chapter uh, Four, which is uh, excuse me, I almost forgot about this, a diversity, and chapter five is individual uh, 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 personalities. All that 
is basically what the form is a company and the individuals we bring in and uh, I'll see you in the forum and keep up the good work you're doing well and your overall grades most of you uh, all of these are still your B's and A's and that's what I want to see at the end of this course all B's and A's out of my class my name is Dr. George Machaki goodbye